hate that hat. It's gotta go. Oh, bullets. Go. That was that was risky. I admit, that was risky. We still don't have the code to that safe. I'm guessing on the B campaign, you probably don't get the heart key. I mean, I could be wrong. Yeah, maybe because we didn't get the club key on the in the the other one, but that could be that could be um, you know intentional. Whoa, is that liquor in there? You know what? That's what we should have done in the last game. That's why you didn't get the club key for that room, because all you had to do was climb over the freaking glass. I'm an idiot. We could have we could have just killed that liquor and inspected this room in our first playthrough. Um, reason for confiscation, a note he had on his, on him, wait, hold on, August 14th, 1998, second floor waiting room. Reason for confiscation, a suspicious man was found at the location listed above. When confronted by an officer, he tried to escape by acting confused, but was arrested. A note he had on him was confiscated. Uh, remarks, it's not like everyone doesn't know who it is, it's Justin Hansen. Oh, that's the guy from downstairs uh, the uh, in the morgue. City resident, single, and a regular fixture in our jail. He wasn't a bad guy, per se, just a bit of a bird brain kleptomaniac. Can't believe he tried to pull a fast one in a police station. Of all places, though, there's a scrap of paper in a plastic bag. Oh, this is the... the I was just saying, I need the safe key, or code, and there it is. Uh, left 6, right to 2, back to 11. And now we have this. Is this our first one of these that we found? Won't you take me to Funky Town? Boom. Sweet. Yo, what up? I'm back. What's up, Hainsey? I was just uh, thanking you a little few minutes ago about uh, about your subscription this month for the using your Prime to subscribe. I appreciate it, man. So yeah, that's all I all that's all we had to do after the liquor bash through. We just had to jump over into this room in the first playthrough, and I did not do that. Alright. Sweet. So yeah, we won't need the heart um, key, it looks like. Because then, same thing on the other side. Remember, there's a heart key to one door and a club key. So yeah, the you don't need one key. Like, in each playthrough, you're, I guess, not going to get one key. But it doesn't matter, because one of the keys will open. It'll give you access to where you need to go. Um, Alright, so we got a button. Oh, shit! Oh, that's a heart. No, that's cool, bro. This is gonna be hard to pull off, because I need to go this way first. Um, what was it? Six to eleven. Oh, 
Gotta be something good, man. Muzzle for the Matilda. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I'm like, are we gonna make it? Because we have to cut around. I was like, are we gonna make it before he reaches us? And thankfully we did. Wait, what do we have? We need, we have the Matilda. We gotta combine that with, we gotta go downstairs. Look at this mother effer. Crawling around like some kind of weirdo. We gotta use the spade key. I mean the club key. my knife. Oof. Good thing we boarded all these up. Oh my god, dang! How the... Wow! Do I have any health? Yeah, okay. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god. All right, so where am I? There's a flash grenade over here. All right, where do I go? Um, safety deposit room. I could go put that button in there and just get it out of my inventory. Yeah, let's try it. Oh shit! Um, wow. Put on two, because then we can open two o eight. We can open two o three, I think. One o two. We can't open two o three. Do you know where we are? He made that shit. Oh my god. Okay, give me uh give me that mixed herb. Wow. Wow. Wow, you guys good? <laughs> you guys good? My butthole was puckered that entire time. That was a lot to deal with. Um Alright, let's see. Let's get the roll of film out here. The screech scared the crap out of me, and I wasn't even looking at the screen. I right? Oh man! What? That's what we got? That's it? Um. All right. Let's store that. Um. That can store. Dude, this gun is... it's getting there. Got 
12 bullets for it now. Sweet. I kind of want to save it. There's the 12 bullets for, uh, for like a boss fight or something. Isn't that crazy? I'm saving handgun ammo for boss fights. Um, all right, so all we need for the next three things we got to do, or two things, is that and that. Um, so, uh, okay. So let's save and let's pucker our butts up. Ooh, yeah, that screech got me too. I mean, they're quick. Like I'm like, I know they're behind me, but I'm like, ah, there's, they'll jump and they'll miss, and you know, I'll be fine. Nope. Nope. Liquors can clear a hallway. Oh shit! He pushed that like zombie in. <laughs> zombies on the first floor has my freaking knife. What's that noise? Please don't tell me new enemies spawned in here. Because that would suck. trying to walk because I don't actually know what triggers Mr. X. Um, for all I know, running does. But nope, I hear him coming. He's he's coming right through here, isn't he? Is this a diamond? Oh, forgot about this door. What up? The linen closet. Forgot about this place. What's in here? Anything? Oh, right. The other button. Of course, the other button's in here. Now I gotta, like, solve this and then go back downstairs. That sucks. I want that to be my ringtone. I don't know if I want to go all the way down there just to put that button in there. Um, because all the button does is it gets us like, you know, maybe like three bullets or something. But we got to run through a hallway full of liquors. And I don't care to do that. goodness they all crawl. Nope. I thought they were walk I thought one of them was walking. I knew one of them was crawling, but I thought one of them was walking towards me. Just try not to run. See what happens. Because I know Mr. X does come up here. <laughs> LOL he just said Oh man. Alright, he's downstairs, it looks like. 
him down. Oh shit. I was trying to make a Bernie Mac joke and, uh, <laughs> and I fucking get bit. I love that he does that stand up. He's like Kings of Comedy. He's like, him downstairs. <laughs> He's like, that's how my niece talks to me. Him downstairs. All right. All right now we got to take that. Anything in here that's gonna kill me? In a scenario, there's just something down here to pick up. I think it's like bullets or something, but or gunpowder. Ooh, look at that! Thirty handgun ammo. Nice. We'll heal up. Yeah, I don't know the bullet. I mean the the button. I don't know if it's worth it to go back and just put that button in. Of course, those handgun bullets are for the Matilda, but that's cool because that means we'll save it for, like, a boss fight. Um, oh, man. All right. So I think we take out the small thing in here. All the small things... That's going, and then the small gear down in the bottom. So, I, so yeah, I think I mentioned this, but there's like a, they're doing a lot of renovations in the third floor of this uh, police department. They were going to use it for something, nothing really major for this, like for the for the clock tower. They just wanted to repair it. Like, uh, I guess Irons was just like, I just want to repair it. Um, but I think that all that did was just funnel more money into the police department for him to do his creepy experiments or whatever he was doing. They certainly are more obvious about it in the original Resident Evil of what his intentions are with the mayor's daughter as far as, like, um, taxidermying her. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. But, uh... But then this one, they kind of leave it a little vague, and I don't know if I prefer that or not. Because, um, like, if you have a bad guy, you kind of want to... I mean, he's obviously a bad guy. He's, you know kidnapping kids and stuff like that, but his bad guy level goes much, much worse. Um, all right. So the only thing on the first floor to do is the locker terminal with the buttons, but uh, I'm honestly not sure if it's worth doing that. That's uh, That scares the crap out of me to, to run down this hallway full of liquors. Even if we ran down this way again, this hallway was full of liquors just to get around to it. So, because like we'd come through here, liquors, liquors, it doesn't make any, and then right out into a hall of liquors, uh, it's not worth it. We would spend so much ammo just going through there. Uh, off to work, people have fun. Hey, Grifter, you too, man. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Um, everybody send Grifter some love. He's heading out to work. Be safe, dude. Have fun. Kisses? No? No, no that's fine. No kisses. Oh, shit, bro! The F is wrong with you. How you gonna bite me like that? How you gonna bite me like that? Mm-hmm. All right, well, now there's more cowboy hats. The Kevin guy's been hanging out in every room. Buys a cowboy hat for every room in the police department. 
Um, okay, I think we just go this way. This is probably where all the things are going to burst through the windows, or try to. Oh, this is not the way we go. What was I thinking? Where do I think I'm at right now? Where do we have to go? Oh, I know where it is. Okay. hole in the wall back there, yo. That was almost stupid. So we boarded up the right windows, for now at least. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I need to get a herb because we're just... The thing is I only have two super herbs. No health sprays. This is not going well. Let's get the electronic part. Oh, you know, we still have the, the lightning hawk with some magnum ammo, so that's nice. Um, let's bring the Matilda back. All right. Um, oh yeah, we can store the bullet. If for some reason we come back to the police department later, we'll we'll do the bullet. But I'm, I don't care. Not a big deal to me. Okay. So in about yeah. About 10 15 minutes, we'll wrap this up. I'm um, sorry, I'm like starting to lose a little bit of energy. Um, when I started this today, I actually was debating on whether I was gonna actually do it because we played last, like I said yesterday. I when I woke up, I immediately started working on my um, history of Resident Evil 2 or Hi history of Resident Evil video episode 2, and that I spent like 10 hours the night before working on it and then you know managed to finish it before leaving for work, then worked like a nine hour day, and then um, came home and was just, you know, just beat to hell. Um, yeah, we gotta go to, what's his name's jail cell. Um, we gotta fight dogs out here. Sweet. Wow, that was that was luck. I can say that genuinely, that that was just a lot of luck. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so then I worked, and then we came home, you know, we started streaming at midnight, went till like seven a.m. I was just beat, man. I slept, and when I woke up, I was like, that's not enough sleep. I slept until like 2, so from like 8 a.m. to 2, and it was definitely not enough. So, yeah, I woke up, had a salad, had some tea, uh, walked my dog, and... Then I was just like, all right, we'll play. But I just, I was like, if I have to tap out today, just you know, forgive me. I'm just, it's just a lot. This past uh, past few days. Um,
There we go. Mm, no, not exactly. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> There we go. Wow, I'm an idiot. That took way longer than it should have. I was thinking the wires couldn't cross. I don't know. I was, part of me was like, oh, don't make them overlap because bad things will happen. Ghostbusters say don't make the streams cross. Ben's memo. The station's swarming with monsters. Even here I can hear their, sc their cries, but it's not the zombies that I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant. The ultimate bioweapon developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. To think that the thing might be wandering around here. Chances are they ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. Oh, that's exactly what they did to you, didn't they, didn't they Ben? All that just for this parking permit. Jeez. Evident. Ben. Ben stepped it up, man. He he got the dirt on them. All right. Hmm. What are they after? Oh shit. That's not good. What? Fuck you. Give me a break. I figured if he was gonna get a shot in on me, I was gonna get one on him. Everybody. What the fuck? This is the second time she saved. Why is she like risking her life for us? Oh, I don't think she tried to save us that time. She she might have hurt us actually. <laughs> Hey, Kitty Money, what's up? How are you? Yeah. This is getting old. Saving your ass, it's twice. Yeah, why do you like keep doing it? Score. Look, this isn't a game. Nothing dies down here. 
Dang. She put C4 in the back? Take it, you have the key card. Yeah. And Sick, got a really bad cold. Oh, I'll feel better, kitty. My throat is on fire, no. Feel better. Take some lemon and some tea. You just gave the evidence to a bad, a bad person. <laughs> I was gonna say a bad guy, but all right. In Claire's game, we had stuff come out and chase us. So, oh Leon, uh, Leon, why don't you duck? I wonder if that herb was there when we, excuse me, played through as Claire. I'm sure it was. The only downside is we were being chased by Mr. X, so I didn't look. I'm going to make some when I get home, but i got to go to Walmart first. No problem. We'll feel better. Uh, we're probably going to end this stream here in about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, um, once we get to whatever this new location is. Well, what exactly? Someone's got to get word to the authorities. We need reinforcements to save this city. Dang. So this is the sinkhole they were talking about. Interesting. Oh, and that's where Claire was when you run on those stairs over there. That's cool. How did we miss Kendo when we came through here before? Well, we didn't. We walked right up to Kendo, but the okay. door was locked. Going so. through that gun shop looks like the only way. Hmm. Ladies first, I guess. Does she have a lockpick? I uh, won't let you. Well, I won't let you aim at her. I wasn't gonna shoot her, but I won't even let you aim at her. What a mess. Ballistics ammunition. Wow, Kendo, you got an upgrade, dude. Your shop is way cooler looking. What? Boom. Now it takes up two inventory spots. <laughs> Figures. That's cool, though. Thank goodness, man. It's nice to see bullets. I mean, even though we're in a gun shop, there's not a lot, but it's nice to have some bullets. Whoa. I said don't move. I'm just passing Whoa. Oh, where about? Turn around. Go right back out the way you came in. Whoa. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Tell me how to deal with my daughter. It's his kid? Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate. It's my fucking daughter. Dude, she's turning. Told you to stay put. Yeah, she's gonna bite him anyway. Daddy. Okay. Dang, talk about adding some humanity to that character. His ear off. Supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? Oh, dang. Sweet little angel. Dang. Why do they always have to add a creepy ass little kid? I'm asleep, babe, honey. Um. Okay. Oh man. Damn. Just go. Just 
Wow, man. It's a step up on the character chart from, uh, you know, like the uh, misogynist kind of he was before. Not that he was really, but he was just like... Why him? When, uh, in the first one, if you were like Claire, he was like, Oh, hello, girly. How are you today? Um, and stuff whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. And they use it as a good character moment between these two. That's My mission nice. is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city. Count me in. There ain't no saving this city, bub. Wow, that was that was a pretty good scene. Definitely. Do we leave anything in here? No. Cut everything out there. I wonder if if they let. Uh, maybe we won't see Kendo again. But I wonder if they'll save Kendo for um, Resident Evil Three remake. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. Wow, she just straight up confessed it to him, huh? I think she, I think she likes me already. So this is look at that, Mikkel's authentic Russian cuisine. That's a reference to Resident Evil Three, uh, Mikhail's pierogies. But um, that's weird because Mikhail, as far as I know, was not a Raccoon City resident. I thought he was a uh, just a mercenary hired to protect the city uh, or get civilians out. But or at least that was the cover story. But that's cool that they did that. M Mikhail's pierogies. Mikhail. This is how we get to the net. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. So it looks like they have this sinkhole and they're building something easier access for the umbrella employees to get down here, maybe? And then they also feel like they expose themselves here by... Leaving this open. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? <laughs> Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Nice. This is some of the stuff is what I go over in my history of Resident Evil videos of just how involved Umbrella is in like the building of this city and the maintaining Jesus. of it. Yeah, what's that? Cool. Cool. Glad I went down there. What the? What the hell? It's the alligator. It's the alligator, dude. What? All right. Great. Lighting looks good. Make sure my chat works. Joe After Work is playing. What up, Joe? Everybody's getting their Resident Evil on. Make sure this chat works, yo. Alright, let me see. Chat commands work. Boom. Boom! No, no boom on that second one. There we go. All right, cool. We everything looks good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Spitting Venom, 
and we are going to be playing some more Resident Evil 2. We left off, I think we were with Ada, and we walked through Kendo's gun shop. So, uh, so yes, we're going to have some fun. I, uh, I think after Kendo's, we're now entering the sewers. So that's where we last left off with Leon. We're playing his second, uh, I guess, uh, B scenario to Claire's A. Claire's A. I get it, Seek. That's a butt joke. All right. Check the inventory. We got. <laughs> We're doing our best with with bullets. I'm trying to conserve. I put some in the chest down there. So Ada here is claiming she's FBI, but uh, I mean, us gamers know that that ain't true. Leon doesn't though, and she just confessed everything that uh, Umbrella's been up to. And it's interesting because. She is supposed to be this heartless spy lady, but yet she saved e uh, Leon twice without even knowing anything about him. So I'm kind of curious to see, you know, if they touch on why, maybe, as a character trait of hers, why she, or maybe she just saw the police badge and was like, hey, maybe I could use him for something, or maybe he could help me with something, or, I don't know. It shows that there's a good side to Ada. She's not just all heartless, and maybe that means she possibly really did have feelings for John. Um, John Clemens, the oh, the scientist from uh, the first Resident Evil game. Hmm. Here we go. I like that you don't have to hold X to do that. You can just hold forward. It's easier on my fingers. Uh oh. Wait there. Oh, it's alligator time. It's alligator time. Welcome to Sewer Gators. Crap. Leon, get out of there. Why don't you save me again? Oh, we just running now. Holy crap! Uh, I don't understand what I could have done differently there. I don't get it. Could I? Should I have shot it? I'm confused. If you just run straight down the middle, you'll end up as Gator Chat. Move to the left or right. Oh. Well, thanks, game. <laughs> Again, confused. So confused. I don't appreciate dying this many times either for a fucking trial and error thing. Uh, I moved left to right. Stay in one spot too long and you'll end up as gator food. Okay, yeah. I ran this side and then I ran over to this side when I thought he was charging me. There we go. Oh shit, okay. Okay. I'm even confused how we survived the two times. Uh, that's the weirdest thing. I was hugging one wall, I guess, and he didn't get me. Uh, and then I hugged the other wall and he hit me but he didn't bite me I know it's not complicated I just can't figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong I'll stay this side first right, and we'll go to this side and we'll go to this side Go to this side. Oh, goodness. Oh, bro, you messed up. You messed up, bro. 
Dang. Dang. All right. Well, I. I nice, Leon. Um. Okay. I kind of understood what I did right that time. <laughs> uh, but it, yeah, I don't know. I thought I was doing that the first two times, or not the first two times, but the two times after they told me. Whoa. Just get up here. Whew. Well, I'm glad that boss battle was, I mean, I wouldn't say easier than the original Resident Evil 2. You said um, the virus turned people into monsters. But I'm glad it only cost me a bullet. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. Yeah, I'm not here to impress you, lady. I'm here to try to save people. Uh, by the way, to the, whoever is lurking, thank you for being here. Don't feel like you have to jump in the chat. I understand it's late. Um, it's 10:30. I was supposed to. St I was going to start around 10, 10:30, and then I tweeted that I was going to wait till 11. But I'm just getting tired, so I was like, you know what? Let's just start early, and uh, let's try to finish this as early as we can tonight. I actually have to open tomorrow at work. Um, I thought I had to close, so I have to be there at like 10 a.m. So I'm like, all right, we got to play a little bit earlier, try to get this done so I can get some sleep before work tomorrow. And then tomorrow night when I get home from work, I'm just sleeping. Um, no streams, no nothing. We, we played this game enough for two days, so I will definitely, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be back though. We'll come back, you know, next week sometime. Oh, it's a save. You know, I kind of do want to save in case they try to spit me back out to um, you know to fight that thing again. I don't want to do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh yeah, go! I gave my dog a bone, and he's chewing it right now, like a good boy. Oh. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Your aim's a little off, Ada. Didn't expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Uh. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? Chris, why won't you believe me?